All the believers, they have succeeded. They have reached the succession hereafter. Which means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will all submit into Jannah. If Allah accepts their Iman and they become real believers, Allah Jalla wa Ala said, Aflahu means they all succeeded. But the, what is the iman? What is the what's be, what does it mean to be believers? Allah Jalla wa Ala has mentioned a couple of qualities of the believers. After they believe in Allah, all these names, all these attributes, and they believe hereafter. They believe uh, the angels. The books of Allah, all the messengers. You know the six pillars of faith. A kind of iman, a simple. On top of that, they have some other qualities, characteristics. The first one is what? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are two men. But he mentioned here four or five characteristics that the believer must have. First of all, Al-Ladina Hum, Fi Salatihi Bish, Khashirun, Al-Khushur of Salah. Al-Khushur of Salah is a very important thing in the first The Salah is a great ibadah. It's the second pillar of Islam. After the testification of the Shahada, the second pillar is what? Iqamah the Salah. But when you perform the Salah, it's not just the words that we say and action that we do only. It has to be very deep concentration, very deep for sure. When you pray, you have to disconnect uh, with yourself, with this world, and connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you pray deeply, and you just have this sensation that you are in front of your Lord. When you pray, you don't just think about your store, or your job, or your friends, or that, or your school. Calculate the man, what's and that, and when the salah is over, you don't know what you have prayed. How many rak'ah you have prayed? Or how many surahs the Imam has recited? This kind of salah, the Prophet said, is not be counted. The wajib is accepted, but the reward is going to be very less. When you pray, you have to be conscious, very conscious, and connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spiritually. That's very important. And the Prophet said, what if you will pray and you will not get from his salah except uh, if we count 10, he get only 1%. Or you get 2% or 3 or 4 or 5. The one who gets 5 is great. 50% 50 of, 50 of, of our prayers, we are out of the prayer. And that's not a quality that the believer must have. We need khushur. Deep khushur. Okay? And this era, the khushur is going to really very, very weak, and people just perform the salah. Just they practice, but they are not spiritually yeah, conscious. The Akhwan is is very important, and it needs to be trained ourselves, especially when we are praying Sunnah or so on. Try every day to pray two rak'ah with the khushur. Purposely, we try not going out of salah. And whenever Shaitan tries to take you away from, from salah,
just come back and train yourself over and over. If you keep doing that one month or two months, next time you will find out automatically you're connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you forget this dunya when you pray. And your salah is going to be 100%. And that's the first quality that Allah mentioned. Right? And Allah, the second quality is what? Something that can enhance and makes your salah and your khushur, you know, doable and easy for you. Those who turn away from so falsehood, from falsehood, anything which is false, whether they are uh, words or action, anything that doesn't have any value, any benefit for here or hereafter, the believers, they stay away. And they do something that benefits them here in Dunya or hereafter. So when they are really away from falsehood, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will expand their capacity of khushur. So that's the goal. Why we don't have so much khushur today? Because we are 24 hours in love. Especially this 21st century where was uh, invaded so many uh, technologies and so many social media. Everybody is just like that. Kids, everybody, we don't know even no more communicate. Human beings are losing their communication and this, we are communicating something we don't see. Someone is not with us. This will have very severe consequences on our our being, our pursuit, our consciousness, and so many things. We have to live that the Holy Finger. Otherwise, the Qiyamah, the, the time, the death is going to surprise us while we do in social media like that. Huh? Allah Jalla wa Ala mentioned that. This is Makdiza. Allah said, Iqtaraba lil nasi isabuhu wa hum fi ghaflati ma'arudun. People, they're in the reckoning. Their, uh, the hour approach them while they are busy and headless for remembrance of Allah. And today that's what's happening. All the people are busy. And the hour is approaching us. Right, that one of them? That's right. So we have to know what is going on. And we have to maximize our consciousness, our victory of Allah, khushur fi salah. And it's not going to be the khushur of salah and the of Allah easy unless we abandon the falsehood. You know, people are busy for the two, these days, what? The soccer games, World Cup, the World Cup or what? Or Olympic, I don't know. World Cup America. Huh? Cuba America. What's that? Cuba America. Cuba America. <laughs> People are busy watching these soccer games, basketball, and so on, and also the, the YouTubes and Facebooks and so on. We don't limit ourselves for even one, one, one hour or something like that. After when we woke up, we start with the Facebook and stuff like that, all. and we, when we sleep, we sleep with the Facebook. That's it. <laughs> SubhanAllah. Allah and, and the Prophet said, when you sleep, take a wudu, make a wudu, make dhikr, a karo now, prepare yourself that you're sleeping, and you say, oh Allah, Allahumma, bismik Allahumma, wada'atu jambi, wa bika arfa'ahu, in amsakta nafsi, huh? farhamha, wa in asantaha, farhamha, bima tahkud bihi, ibadika salihin, that's gone. Some people worse than that, they sleep with the music on. So I cannot sleep even until I put my music on. He is. So he woke up with the ma'asiyah and he sleeps what? With the ma'asiyah. So this is a big problem that one is that. And then, وَالَّذِينَ بِالزَّكَاةِ هَعِلُونَ The wealth that Allah gave us, we must know as believers. Allah Jalla wa Ala said, وَالَّذِينَ فِي أَمْوَالِهِمْ حَقٌّ مَعْلُومٌ 
The money that Allah gave it to you, He's the one who gave it to you, first of all. You have nothing. And when you die, you die while you have nothing. You can't this wall, you're naked. You're gonna live at least with, with the one, you know, what they call, surround or covered white girl, that's all. Every being in your house, you're gonna live backward. It's dunya. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us, the money he gave us, there is some happiness. Lisa'il wal mahroom, poor people, person who asks which is that is in need. Uh, the course of Allah, the deen and da'wah. Who's gonna who's gonna do that? You have to have some share from your wealth for sadaqah. And sadaqah is two times. Wajib and fault zakah and mother obligatory zakah. The one who's a wajib, that's a wajib. It's the one pillar of no, you cannot, you know, uh, compromise with that. The other one, if you have the iman, all the time you see your brothers and sisters are really suffering. Some of them they are starving to death. Some of them they are sick and they don't have something to do. In some besides, they have nothing. Some people they need some water and they have money. They have to put that from. It's gonna come. The Prophet gonna mention Allah Jalla wa Ala has called his servant in the day of and he will ask many questions. Abdi, huh? Kuntu jai'an, laqtub indi. Allah will say to him, I was hungry and you never feed me. And he said, how, how can I feed you? I'm hungry, how do you become hungry? My servant saw and saw, he was hungry and you never feed him. So if, had you feed him, you would find me that moment. Just like that. When we have something that is urgent to pay some money, we have to come forward. These days, Shaitan is putting us just forward to be stiff. It's hard to raise money or to matter, do the matter, ask the people. Everybody just will run behind. Someone else is going to be, someone else is going to do. So, this is what we have to really realize whatever Allah gives us is a test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالَّذِينَ لِفُرُوجِمْ حَافِرُونَ This is very important. Those who guard their private part. Private part. They don't fornicate. They don't do haram. They stay away things that Allah forbidden. This is very important. And this is the problem of this era. Where people just fulfilling their desire is become something lawful. And a person who say that I really abstain from the halal, people will laugh at him. Oh, this is he's nothing, this is nothing. You don't enjoy, you don't do this. These days become something lawful. A'udhu billah. Allah Jalla wa Ala said, those who keep their brothers apart from the haram, that they guard. Allah Jalla wa Ala will make them those who succeed and enter the Jannah. Jannah is not easy because you go like that and you do all kind of filth. You do all the filth in this dunya, drink, um, fabrication and everything, and then you want to go and after that you enter the Jannah. Allah Jalla wa Ala, and the Prophet said, Allah in the Sarat Allah, Allah in the Sarat Allah, Jannah. So the qualities are so many upon the time, it's not allow us to go for further. So inshallah, Astallah al Adim and Yitaqala, Salatana wa Siyamina. وجميع مالنا ونجعلنا من الذين يخشعون في صلاتهم ويبتعدون عن اللقب والحرمات إنه على ما يشاء ومتون ساق الله يرحمه